any plea on the part of Mrs. Napoles to, uh, or, or on, 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 would, would DOJ be opposing the calls from certain sectors for her to, to be, be placed transferred in a regular jail. to a regular yeah. jail? Sabi ko po, napakadali pong imungkahi yung ganyang bagay at napaka-valid, legitimate, justified ang kanya, ang ganitong proposal. As a matter of fact, if I must, if I may share this with you, uh, even during the time that Mrs. Napoles was uh, still testifying before this uh, honorable committee and she was saying all of those things, just denying and invoking the right to remain silent and the right against self-incrimination, I was already entertaining the thought that the, the next day I would be proposing that to be transferred to a regular jail facility. But on deeper thought, it's not as easy as that. Now first, of course, that is something that, you know, it's not an easy decision to make. That is, well, it's so easy to actually propose that. But we have to think also of the possible consequences because we are still hoping that uh, Mrs. Napoles would, uh, would tell all because we know that she's, the, she's probably the key to unlocking the whole truth if and when she decides to tell to tell the truth. Ms. Benver has a lot uh, has a lot to share and he has in fact shared already most <coughs> of it and probably all of what he knows about this uh, this scam. But nanggaling na rin kasi kay uh, Ben Hur din nang sabi niya meron din daw pong iba na dumidiretso kay Mrs. Napoles at hindi dumadaan sa kanya. So ibig pong sabihin nun, ang talagang may alam sa lahat na ito in so far as his as his uh, transa her transactions are concerned would be Mrs. Napoles herself. What if she decides to really tell all uh, without strings attached, meaning without even without asking, for example, for immunity. Maybe asking for certain other concessions outside of immunity, because as to whether or not she is entitled to immunity would be another matter that would be a very contentious or debatable Papunta issue. Papunta na ako dun, Mami. Tatanggapin niyo po siya sa WPP? Sa ngayon po, hindi. Kasi unang-una, nasesecure na naman po siya eh. So the, the, the first the first object of the WPP is to secure the But we applicant. also know the effect of admission to WPP. Immunity. Which is immunity. That is why we need to study carefully. We cannot just be acceding to that. We Pero cannot just be saying yes. We're, 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 we're willing. Ma'am, hindi nyo ba naisip na pag nilagay nyo sa sa regular na kulungan, baka mas madali na umamin siya? Pwede rin po yun. Kesa ngayon na komportable siya, hindi mas mahaba ang panahon niya para makapag-isip. Maganda naman yung kalagayan niya. Anong pressure para bumaligtad siya? Pwede rin po yun. But then again, the foremost consideration here is would she be secure in a regular detention facility? But ma'am, secure against who? Wala naman siyang tinuro. Wala naman siyang inamin. At sa ngayon, wala siyang balak umamin. Um, For now. For now. For now, she has not admitted to anything. Precisely. For now, she has not mentioned any name. But is that, is that the real situation? Is that the truth? That she does not know anything? I don't think so. I don't think so either. So as soon as she opens her mouth, ma'am, perhaps that's when we should secure and protect her. Because my problem, really ma'am, my problem here is quite simple. Lahat ng mga bilyon at milyon ang ninakaw sa pamahalaan nasa ospital o nasa Santa Rosa o nasa kung saan. Yung nagnakaw ng cellphone at wallet, nasa kulungan. Paano ho natin ipapaliwanag yun na parang tinuturo natin kumbaga sa mga nagdadaan? Anak, magnanakaw ka na lang, lakihan mo na. Kasi pag malaki, ospital ka o Santa Rosa ka. Dahil pag cellphone lang ang ninakaw mo, eh anak, city jail ka. Pwede na bang buhay doon? How do we reconcile that? If we cannot guarantee the life of a snatcher inside the city jail, ma'am, and I presume there are security features in our jail system to protect him also from being harmed. Um, again, equal protection would dictate that unless she is willing to talk, I guess that's when we should provide adequate. And I will agree with you completely. Dapat talaga pangalagaan yung seguridad niya kung magsasalita siya, kung nais niya na. 
magsalita. I just find it difficult to swallow the situation right now is hindi siya nagsasalita, wala siyang inaamin, ang laki ng ginagasos natin tuwing lalabas siya, and yet, um, we're not getting anything out of it really. I also perfectly and completely agree with you, Your Honor. But ang sabi ko nga po, well, sa ngayon, maaaring hindi siya magsasalita. Pero meron po kami uh, expectation na baka nga po magsalita na. Um, and sayang po yung pagkakataon na yan na posibleng magsalita na siya in the near future, baka malapit na po o in the near future, baka you know, before the case is filed Sandigan Bayan or while the case is before the Sandigan Bayan let's see if, if she, she is willing to, to talk wag na muna po tayo magmadali ngayon uh, of course may gastos ang gobyerno na alam naman po kung magkano ang gastos sa gobyerno Pero siguro sa mga ganitong usapin na ito po ay napakalaking kaso. Uh, this is actually bigger than any one of us, this particular case. Now, uh, siguro secondary na lang po ang consideration na yon na gumagastos ang gobyerno dito sa pagsisecure sa kanya doon sa ultimate end na posible nga na sa pamamagitan ni Mrs. Napoles ay malalaman natin ang buong katotohanan. I understand where you're coming from. I'm sorry for bringing this out. Mabigat lang talaga sa dibdib ko na talo pa niya si Pangulo Aquino. May decoy vehicle pa siya. May decoy convoy pa siya. Si Pangulo Aquino, walang decoy convoy. Um, so na lang niya ginagawa siguro yun. Kung mag-helicopter o magbabailan. Pero, no. That's the decision already of the PNP, I presume. Not the DOJ. Yes, Your Honor. And we can always talk about it. We can always, uh, we can always uh, ask the PNP to more or less revisit the security arrangements. Sa kung medyo nga OA, then... Uh, the make it make it uh, the appropriate one kung ano talaga ang commensurate diyan sa, sa status niya but for now the government would want to be very careful the government would would uh, would really want to study this issue very very carefully i understand that thank you very much last point mr chairman mr Louis, bakit niyo tinanggal si baligod at anong magagawa niyo kung wala na siya kumpara sa hindi niyo magagawa kung nandiyan pa siya Quite frankly, when I heard the news, I don't see what for. I mean, im, hindi na kayo kakasuan, wala na kayong kaso, nagbigay na kayo ng statement. Why all of a sudden the need to remove him? In other words, ano yung magagawa nyo ngayong wala na siya? 